it's so hard. Okay, okay. Hey guys, it's been a while since I last uploaded a video and I figured what better way to start uploading again by sharing with you a story. It is very personal to me and it honestly took me some time to decide whether or not to share this. However, I've already moved forward and I want you guys to know me a bit better. So today, I'm gonna share with you a story on my first relationship. And fun fact, it is my only relationship to date. It's been two years since I last broke up. Um, the whole relationship was about five years, a very long time. Um, when the relationship started, it was when I just turned 21. So that was like the point where I turned into an adult. So, so how did we meet? Basically, I was in poly back then and he was my senior. Whenever I see him around, he is one of the main committees uh, in the union whereas I am someone who is kind of like a group leader in the camp. Whenever we see each other, we will just kind of like say hi, that's all. Uh, we never got to hang out, we never got to really talk like more than ever five sentences. So how I started talking to him was because on my last year of camp, the camp was about six days long and on the sixth day, a lot of the ex-senior, which is uh, the alumni, they will come back to school to kind of support the juniors or to congratulate the juniors for graduating from the camp. Normally, the alumni will actually buy gamkwat juices or even pipakao items for the junior as a form of like support. So there was this one time, um, I remember I received, it was honey, honey lemon for the throat. Because during camp, uh, normally we have to talk a lot, we have to do a lot of cheer. So at the end of the sixth day, normally uh, our voices is like very sore and dry already. So I was wondering who gave it to me. However, uh, I didn't have time at that point of time because I was so tired. So after the camp, I started to ask my friend, you know, who was the one that passed me the honey lemon drink? Because I just wanted to kind of thank the person. Uh, but I'm not, it's through a text or through a call, I just wanted to show my gratitude because it was a meaningful small gift for me back then when I was very young. Remember at that point of time, I was thinking or not whether or not I should be texting him thank you but I went ahead with it because that was my intention from the start and I guess that was how it all started. Started texting and texting and then I remember he asked me out on a movie date or a dinner date? I think it was a dinner date only. And the location we met was at Cathay at Dobby God at Maki San. I'm not even sure at this point whether I'm or not Maki San is still there. So I remember I was doing my part-time job. So after work, I, I remember I was a little bit nervous. I was tying half and I was putting on my lipstick and I took the MRT from uh, Nian uh, Orchard to Dobby God. And when I met him for the first time, it was... It felt good. Like, it wasn't awkward. And I find myself enjoying our conversation together. So we talked... I, I can't exactly remember what we talked about, but it was really like, oh, what am I doing? Uh, what do I like to eat? And I remember after Maki San, we, we went out to um, the Binkert store to have dessert. So that was how we ended our mini date. From then on, after that, we started to text a lot more uh, in July onwards and that was when he he asked me officially to date him. I guess at that point of time, um, it kind of felt like uh, he, he was growing on me. Basically, like I, I feel that the relationship we have at that point of time was like it, there was never a flame and then slowly all of a sudden after speaking to him for some time couple of months there's this like small lingering flame um, coming to life he was actually an officer in army and i think at that point of time he was doing his ord and he was kind of like the parade commander or something i don't know what's the term so he actually invited me to go visit him and i went by myself into the camp to find him to see him perform in action and after the entire thing he came towards me and asked me can I have the opportunity to date you in person? <laughs> so I think it was quite strange because I like I've never stepped into army camp before obviously and it's not 
normal and it was freaking awkward however I just find myself unknowingly like just doing it and and I think if I were to look back now it was because I already kind of had that small burning flame like coming to life and I was just like I wanted to be there to support him uh, at his good moment I said yes to dating him after that after thinking for a while I was like okay let's just try to date and that was how we started dating officially. Um, so we dated for... We dated about 3 to 4 months. We started hanging out a lot more. I went to his place, I met his parents. His parents enjoyed my company. I remember his grandma is always like um, making me meals. His aunts and uncles were just very happy to see me. And I felt really belonged in his family. And... After dating for about 4 months in, he asked me to be his girlfriend. So I said no. <laughs> Just because at the point of time, I wasn't sure and I was a little bit scared on like what would happen next if I were to say, uh, yes, I want to be your girlfriend. But how he actually asked me was something that I won't forget. So I remember I went to his place and he started to take out his guitar, which he learned um, he learned how to play guitar from a friend and he started playing me a song It's the Volcano Disney song Lava You or something, I can't remember But he isn't someone who sings really well and he's not musically inclined And I was very touched by the fact that you know, he made an effort to kind of ask his friend to teach him how to play a guitar And, and I remember just sitting by the bed and, and just listening to his shaky voice before he asked me whether or not um, I would like to be his girlfriend. So I said no, like I said, was because I was scared. And at the same time, it was my first relationship and I just wanted to be sure, like very sure. I, and we did it one to two months more and that was then where he asked me the second time to be his girlfriend. And the funny thing is I remember it all too well as well. So I don't know. I don't exactly know what we were doing that day but he was at my house and I, we were sitting at our, my bed lah. and then all of a sudden he started to take out a notepad and then he was staying silent and he started to flip the pages of the sketchbook together so it had like those cringy romantic sentences like it's been how many days since I first met you I really enjoy your company and then towards the end he flipped the last thing, I think the last thing he flipped was like, I love you or something. And then all of a sudden, my phone rang. And when I look up at my phone, he actually changed his name on my phone to, will you, will you be my girlfriend? And it's either I accept or I reject. And it's like that moment. <gasps> Feeling is right. I can do this. Then I take a leap of courage and I say, yes, accept. And then we hug, and then I'm like, Oh, I have a boyfriend now! <laughs> Yay! And, and nobody knew at home because it was all silently portrayed out at home. And I remember after that, we went to Gardens by the Bay. It was in December, and then that's how we spent our first official day as boyfriend and girlfriend together. My family really liked him a lot. And if you can take care of me really well, he has very strong values, very honest, uh, works hard and, 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 and I think typically in the Chinese family, all my your, all my all the Chinese parents will want their little daughter to be well taken care of by someone. So he was kind of like a right fit. Throughout these five years of relationship, it was pretty smooth sailing. If I were to put like one to ten the number of times we quarrel, I think we only quarrel like three out of ten times. He was a very understanding boyfriend and after some time being in a relationship, he understood me pretty well. Um we got so we got together at 21 and that was the point where we both started our career as well. So I didn't I don't know how to put it across. Even though I was together with him for five years, subconsciously, uh, at the back of my mind, there was always this something that I felt a little bit off about our relationship, but I couldn't really put my thoughts into words because 
I didn't know what was the right relationship for me. But there was this nagging feeling inside that I felt um, that was missing. I couldn't word it out properly during my time with him and I couldn't make a decision as well even though I was quite okay, quite happy with him. Yeah. I don't know if I don't know if it makes sense, but that was just how I felt. And I think as we progress on in our career, you know, as you start your adulthood and you get into different jobs in different industry, it kind of shapes the way you think as an adult and also there and also many lessons learned. So throughout my experiences um working I realized a lot of things about myself that shaped me to who I am today. We started progressing, like for example, like me and my then boyfriend, we, were, we are like walking in the same direction. But unknowingly, we became, it became two different paths. So like two different paths, we are walking, holding hands, but in the same direction. And I, and I had to admit this, I, gradually fell out of love and it took me a while to really be blatantly honest with myself. I didn't want to hurt him because I know what kind of person he was and he was kind, he was very warm, he treats everybody well. There's nothing wrong about him and like I felt that that shouldn't be the case and it was not right for me to to just fell out of love. We. We went back to the same spot where we first met at the cafe. It was the point where I spoke to him and say like, hey, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I have to tell you that I can no longer try and I would like to stop trying. And at that point of time, I remember very clearly I was just hurting so much inside because I never like hurting someone I just don't and that's the sucky thing about being in a relationship when it doesn't end well after my breakup um, I got the opportunity to join Ridwan in his create um, team and at that point of time it was like maybe two weeks after my breakup it was an amazing opportunity but on the flip side I wasn't emotionally sure or stable enough to you know go for a shoot and be like mentally okay like deep down inside I was still crying over the fact that I just left a relationship and I was just so scared to move on my own and to make decisions myself however Rita was very persistent about it and he kept texting me asking me you know it's okay it's fine just come over for a shoot like distract yourself and, and all of that and with his encouragement I decided to go ahead even though I was really worried and scared because it was a new industry and being on social media and being on YouTube was something that I wanted to do or try when I was younger. Um, so I was just kind of excited but at the same time because of my breakup, I was just not feeling it. I was just not feeling it and I was just very scared. Um, I remember when I was at a shoot, I that was where I met Vincent, Diana for the first time and they were very warm and friendly towards me and I and then at the moment of the shoot I forgot that I just left a relationship. I was just in my own element trying to act in a skit and trying to do my best as by myself with the team and yeah as such like my family were there for me. Um, I started hanging out with friends, new friends, and I get to explore different things with different people. My road to recovery was really a lot more distractions with friends, entertainment, social media. And what gave me the final push to recovery was when I found fitness. And that's where I'm here now, today. The more confident, the more inspiring, positive, motivating Penny Chu here. Yeah, so that's my story. And I think 
what I want to tell you guys is that if you are facing something similar like me, you're in your first relationship or you are going through a rough time or you found someone that you really love and you want to settle down, I hope this story of mine can be a reminder. Take your time to find that person that fits you, right? And currently, what's my dating life? What's my relationship status? That will be for another story. If you want me to share more stories, feel free to comment. Remember to subscribe because I'm gonna upload more videos and remember to like this video. Thank you very much and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Good night! Thank you.